So friends, I'm here in Western Virginia. As you can see, way out there, that is the Jefferson. This is when my grandma passed, my US grandma passed her last days. They had a nice house in that direction towards um, past Vienna and Fairfax. I forgot exactly the, the, the place's name, but there was a large, there was a large um, university by the name of George Mason University. So my dad, my grandma, my grandpa was well off working as a, as a scientist and working for the government. He had a nice house in the DC metro area. And I remember my uncle also had like a nice house, I believe in Adams Morgan or DuPont Circle in the DC area. They had like a nice apartment. So a lot of my memories from just growing up and just joining my dad here were <clears throat> um, just a lot of abundance. Just my grandma had like a, a lot of a lot of money compared to my Costa Rican family, which also had a lot, but not it's in relative terms they had a lot less. And this is really um, my heritage. My grandpa came from a Welsh West Virginia coal miner family, so I can imagine like a hundred years ago, the same area, like they probably migrated first from Wales. There's also some Germans and Irish. I don't really know the story about this, but the, my v last name Vaughn is definitely Welsh, and they were um, West Virginia coal miners. They actually owned what is now known as Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, and they <clears throat> left the, ca the, the the campus. To, they sold the campus to Virginia with a with a particular. Um, caveat that any any person within the family by the last name of Vaughn would have like this small scholarship to study in Virginia Tech if they want to. And it's, it's kind of funny, there are two land grant universities in the United States and I studied, I think there are only two, maybe three, but I'm pretty sure there are two. And I actually studied in one of them in um, Oregon State University. So that's some interesting history.